Hey everyone, welcome back to another at home with Amy vlog. I'm starting off this vlog because I've been dying to vlog and I keep forgetting to just turn the camera on. I have been so busy filming all types of content. So I'm very, very excited. I feel like I started off my channel with fragrance when it really took off. But if there's any of you, because I have had a few People DM me that have literally followed me since like 2016 when I used to vlog my pregnancy, when I used to vlog at home, I used to do makeup. I have always kind of started YouTube and then stopped because of lack of confidence and just being a mom took a lot of my time. So I had to kind of stop and start a bunch of times and now it's all kind of coming like full circle for me because I'm doing what I enjoy. So. I'm just doing a little bit of everything. I'm still gonna do fragrance, of course, that's a passion of mine, but I have also been doing a lot of beauty content. I want to do vlogs here and there, and I'm just very happy, but with that comes a lot of filming, a lot of content creating, a lot of just time. On top of staying at home with my four-year-old, which I want to dedicate time to her too, so it's, it's a lot. I am looking a little rough today, <laughs> because I have a lot to do today. I'm doing laundry. I was doing a little bit of organizing. I was opening up PR packages, which I have so much fun stuff to share with you guys in this vlog. And I also want to show you guys the body care that I'm going to be decluttering. It's gonna go up on my Mercari, so I gotta do that as well. My mom came recently to visit, so I was just kind of like, I just spent the weekend with them without doing anything. So now I'm like back to organizing and filming content. I filmed content yesterday, filmed a lot of content yesterday. So all of that I will be working on the rest of this week. So today is Thursday and I'm gonna put some eye patches on just because I feel tired. I feel like I look tired. And I'm also gonna put this new lip oil that I got from e.l.f. and this is the Lip Revive what it's called glow reviver lip oil which everyone is saying it's a great dupe for the dior lip oils so i'm gonna put some of that on and then i'm gonna show you guys what i have received in pr which you guys i'm just like in disbelief of the things that i got in pr i'm very grateful and happy and just ready to create content and oh they even smell like the Dior ones. I'm um, also for dinner. I have been kind of like on this very slow weight loss journey. I haven't been like doing dieting like super extreme, but just making better choices, drinking more water, not drinking as much soda, little things like that. So far, I have lost 10 pounds. So I'm very excited. I can kind of like, every time I start losing weight, you kind of see it like right here first, like my neck area and my chin and all that. So I'm very, very excited. I still have a long way to go because I want to lose a lot more, but weight has always been something that I battle with really badly. So I have doctor's appointments coming up and stuff. I've been checking everything. I want to make sure that my hormones are not out of balance. I do have a lot of like little issues health wise. So that's kind of just what I, what my goal was for 2024 was to take better care of myself and I'm feeling pretty good. So today I'm going to make some rice bowls. I'm going to make some white rice with some chipotle chicken and just throw avocado on top, cilantro, little cheese, kind of like chipotle style. So I'll bring you guys along to do that. But yeah, let me just go ahead and put these. I'm going to put on the Peter Thomas broth. Hyaluronic Cloud Hydra Gel Eye Patches. I usually put these on at least every day in the morning. I'm halfway done with this one. These feel really, really good and cooling on the eyes. So if you're feeling kind of puffy, I get a lot of allergies, especially here. I didn't know that allergies were this intense. So I'm just like always struggling with allergies. These really just help. They feel super duper good. Let's start. First off, I received these from Coco Kind. So they always send me skincare and I've had really good luck with their products. This time they sent over the Vitamin C Glow Serum. This has azelaic acid and sea grape 
caviar for bright and even skin so i will be trying these things out they also sent the chlorophyll discoloration serum i went through an entire bottle of this and it was really good for kind of like calming your skin down it really gives a very nice like glow to the skin actually i think i'm gonna put a little bit on this does give like a really really nice radiance to the skin and just calms your skin down i remember really liking it yeah, it just gives like a really nice radiance to the skin. So I like using this in the morning time. So I'm glad to have another one of those. So thank you so much to Coco Kind. So Avant Garde sent me some fragrances. So this is going to be in a haul. I think the haul is already up. But I did receive Tiziana Terenzi Al Contrario which is a gourmand fragrance i'm very very excited actually this one i'm probably going to keep stored until fall time because it's a very like fall and winter type scent so i'm very thankful for that and they also sent me two juliet has a gun perfumes the first one i got is lipstick fever which i have been wanting for so long and i'm so grateful that they sent these over you guys probably already saw the haul with these because that's scheduled to go up tomorrow friday but yeah, Lipstick Fever, I'm loving it. You will hear more about it in that video. As well as Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, super dose. Very excited for this one as well because I do love my not a perfume. So very happy to add these to my collection. Thank you so much to So Avant Garde. Next up, Commodity Sent Over Commodity Paper Personal, which if you love Juliet has a gun, not a perfume, you need this. So I'm so happy to have this in my collection now. I'm going to be featuring this in an upcoming haul as well where I will definitely talk some more about it. I just kind of wanted to give it a quick shout out here. So here is the fragrance. And this one just smells... Mm, it's so good. I think it's a little bit more woody than not a perfume. But in like the best way possible. This smells so good for every day. Like just pick it up and throw it on. You're going to smell good. I also received this package from The Brutist. I believe they're new or they're now available at Sephora. It's a hair brand. And they sent over this product. It's called Bio Brew. It is a fermented strengthening serum for your hair. It looks like this. And it looks very interesting. It's kind of like two, two layers. So I got to read more on this. But it says that... It's to help your scalp. So it is for normal to dry scalp and hair types weak or damaged. So I'm going to use this and see if I notice any difference when I style my hair. Very excited to try this out. Thank you so much to the Rudist for sending this over. Next up, we have, ew, you guys, this package right here. When I tell you I screamed, I screamed because I just feel very blessed that this is all happening to me. So I received a package from none other than Huda Beauty. What is happening? Like it doesn't even feel real, but you guys, I got this in this bag, which I already dug into this. I already put them on my lips. I already did looks with them, but you guys, it is filled with lip liners and their new faux filler extra shine lip gloss so i got all of the colors i already did a reel swatching them all for you guys if you want to see these products swatched head over to my instagram my tiktok i'm also going to post them on youtube shorts as well but i i just i'm very very grateful and just really happy that i get to do this this has been my passion for so many years so it just feels very surreal to me but i'm going to show you these glosses because they are beautiful they're so pigmented comfortable to wear because i had them on i had one of them on yesterday so here are all the shades they have a clear one if you don't want like any color at all and the applicator is really nice because it's kind of like this pinched you can kind of like literally put it in between your lips and it fits in there comfortably and it also picks up so much product so that was really nice i also got 
a bunch of shades of their lip liner, which I really, really love. This is the Lip Contour 2.0. Very pigmented, very creamy, and lined my lips really, really nicely. So thank you so much to Huda Beauty for sending these over. So excited and so grateful. Next up, I got a scent from Be Layered, and this is a dupe for... I believe it's Lyra by Serge Off. This is called Glaze. And this scent, I think I prefer it over Lyra. It smells really nice. I'm definitely going to be including this in an upcoming haul as well so that I can get in more detail about this one. But it smells pretty citrusy and gourmand. It's really nice. I think I prefer this over the Dolce & Gabbana, but I got rid of it and also devotion i believe is the name and also the zerjoff lira this is similar but i can definitely i think i could wear this one it's like more wearable for me so that's really nice thank you to be layered then i received this package from coco kind and this is body care which i'm so excited for my whole family is kind of going through it in the body department because of the allergies so this is really cool i'm definitely gonna get into this this is the retinol body cream so i'm going to be using this after i shower at night so this helps improve on even texture for smooth and firm skin without irritation it has ceramides squalane and shea butter so this sounds really really promising very excited to try this out and then i also got the ceramide body oil stick which this sounds like it's going to be really good I'm very, very excited about this. So it looks like a deodorant. Ooh. You guys see that? Doesn't really have a scent to it. And it feels... Oh my god, you guys. That is so hydrating and dewy looking. I love that. For moisture and skin barrier support. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be adding these to like my shower routine. And then here is another one that I'm definitely going to use because I do suffer with KP. Right here, it's actually gotten so much better, but I do tend to get them once in a while. So this one is the KP Smoothing Stick. So I'm very, very excited to add these to my body care routine. Thank you so much to Coco Kine as well for this. And the last PR package is from Smashbox. And this right here is also very, very almost like sentimental to me because when I first got into makeup and I found out like what an Ulta was, what Sephora was, all of those things, this is one of the first products that I remember just being mind blown by. This is the Smashbox photo finish smooth and blur primer it came in a different packaging it did not come in this packaging i remember that and i remember going to ulta i remember i was having dinner with my family and i told my mom i'll be back i'm gonna go into that ulta real quick and i just started like feeling the textures of products i remember being mind blown by the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion like i there was no primer I would just slap eyeshadow on my eyes and call it a day and they would look washed out. When I discovered that, it was like, wow. And then I remember like feeling this on my skin at Ulta and just being like mind blown and telling my mom like, look at this, like my skin looks so smooth and it just like feels so soft. So this is definitely like an OG makeup product and this package, look at this, how adorable. This came with a little disposable camera and all of these great products. This, I was so obsessed with this lip formula back in like 2016. I think I was pregnant. And this is the Always On Liquid Lipsticks. I had like three or four shades of this. So when I saw this in the package, it just... This, I'm definitely going to be using. This is a beautiful, beautiful like brick shade so gorgeous i can't wait to put this on my lips and they also sent this be legendary line and prime pencil so i'm gonna try these together i've never tried this pencil before so very excited to try that and yeah that's it for all of the pr packages thank you so much to all of the brands that send over products and i just 
I'm super duper grateful. I want to share the body care that I'm going to be putting on my Mercari probably after this video goes live because I want you guys to see this first. So I have this box here full of body care because I recently went crazy and bought so much body care from Victoria's Secret. So I need to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to be selling things in like pairs. This collection right here, like it was nice and everything, but I wasn't like wowed by it. I barely use them. This is Golden Eclipse Prismatic Stars and Sapphire Moon. Also going to be selling this Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla Candied. I honestly wasn't impressed by this one compared to my other Bear Vanillas. This one claims to have strawberries, sprinkles, and marshmallow flower, but I don't get that from this. So it smells like Bear Vanilla. Also going to be putting this everlasting magic from bath and body works this was from the like halloween collection it smells nice but i just i'm not reaching for it this go daydream as well unfortunately i'm gonna have to get rid of this fairy tale i've bought this scent like twice already and then i end up decluttering it because my intention is to layer it with ysl lieb my le parfum lieb but this gets too screechy on me like i like the scent of it but it kind of does the same thing as the original lieb which just gets a little screechy i love the packaging for this so much like this is one of my favorite packaging that bath and body works has ever came out with it's so gorgeous but i just can't wear it it's a little too much for me i'm also going to be getting rid of together weather i liked it but I prefer my spiced vanilla from Victoria's Secret. It also has cardamom in it. And that one's just a little bit more smooth for me. I'm also going to be selling this Forever Sunshine set. It was cute and everything. But actually, I might see if my daughter wants this one. But if she doesn't want it, then you'll see that one posted on my Mercari. As well as Golden Berry Mistletoe. So these are going to be... Put on my Mercari. I'm probably gonna put the set, the lotion or the body cream and the body mist for like 15 bucks or something. So yeah, I'm gonna be working on that right after this video goes live. So you can go ahead and check out my Mercari. The link is going to be in the description box. I'm gonna clean this mess up and then I will be right back with you guys when I am making dinner. So I will see you guys in a bit.
couple days later I went shopping to Sephora and I did like some quick little shots so I was gonna do a haul but I'm just gonna go ahead and film like an actual haul for my channel of what I picked up from Sephora and then I also went to Bath and Body Works because I was talking to my sister and she told me that she picked up some candles and that reminded me that I really have been wanting to get some like spring and summer candles because all the candles that I have left are from I have a few left over from winter and from fall but I tried to light up the marshmallow fireside the other day and it just felt too cloying and thick right now so I definitely needed some like fresh scents so I did pick up some candles and I want to share the candles that I got with you guys and I also want to end this vlog with cleaning out my closet because I have been dumping empties in there and I had like a little basket for empties and it's literally overflowing like there's stuff all over the floor so I figured it would be fun to show you that because you can kind of see the products that I have completely gone through I think I got like five candles and I got them at $12 12 something they were on sale and I had a 25% off coupon so I got all of these candles for like 40 something bucks which is pretty much the only time that I shop for candles is when they are on sale Sale. so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the candles that i picked up all right so here is my bath and body works bag so the first one i picked up is one of my all-time favorites for spring and summer i have to get this candle every year i've been getting it maybe for like two three years now if not more these are the types of clean scents that i like so i'm not really a fan of laundry scents or like super soapy clean scents but i do love a clean scent for spring and summer but more of like a ocean fresh aquatic type of clean so this one is hibiscus waterfalls and this one has notes of tropical hibiscus sweet peach nectar and fresh waterfall mist when i tell you guys this candle is so good and now these bring back memories of Puerto Rico for me because since I was over there I would prefer these over really thick candles just because they work much better in a tropical place but now I'm really excited to light these am I the only one who like I'll get new candles I will not light these up until I do like a deep cleaning of the house and then I go ahead and put my candles it's like the cherry on top of a very like deep cleaning type of day where you're just like so tired and you light your candle and it just you can hear angels singing <laughs> so that's one of the ones that i got another must have and this one is another one that is clean and it smells kind of like clean laundry but again fresh it's not sharp it's not headache inducing this is sun drenched linen oh my god this is the best clean scent ever and this has notes of clean linen crisp apple and soft musk it does definitely have like a clean linen vibe just not straight up like laundry detergent which is what i just cannot stand and then i ocean driftwood i'm pretty sure i've had this in the past for sure this one for some reason reminds me of when i lived in north carolina with my husband which was the first place i moved with him i think i had this one in that apartment because as soon as i smelled it it kind of took me back to that apartment but this has notes of beachside oak sea washed mahogany and ocean lavender so again very ocean yeah i definitely for sure had this in that apartment because it's just taking me back like to our little first apartment together and really really cute memories then i also picked up warm ocean breeze and i'm telling you guys the packaging kind of got me with these candles like this packaging is so pretty it makes me think of a beach in puerto rico rompeolas which is in aguadilla i mean the sunsets there are literally like this so this one has notes of ocean sandalwood warm sage and eucalyptus cess so this one is not really as strong but it's really relaxing and i could definitely smell the eucalyptus in here so if you like the eucalyptus scent from bath and body works that's pretty much this one but with like a ocean type of summery vibe to it so very relaxing and then the last one of course is coconut piña colada I saw this and I didn't even have to smell it. Like I was like, yep, you're coming with me. The packaging of it, the decoration, the color, the notes. This is coconut milk, blended pineapple, and a splash of rum. Perfection. This one smells so good. Sometimes things will say that it smells like a piña colada and it smells so synthetic. No, a piña colada has to have like a creamy coconut 
in there. It's not just all about the pineapple. This smells like a piña colada that I drink in Puerto Rico or the ones that I make at home, which are very, very creamy. That is so good. You get the pineapple. Oh my God, if they will come out with a body care of this. So I think this is probably my favorite one this time just because I'm like really, really excited about this. This smells amazing, you guys, especially if you're a fan of like tropical drinks, Piña coladas, the beach. Love this candle. So those are the candles I picked up for this spring and summer. If more come out, I'll probably pick up a couple more. But I realized that when I get too crazy and I buy too many, I usually have leftovers. So I think this should be good for me. So now let's go ahead and show you guys. This is the closet where I keep like all of my lighting and stuff. And in this corner right here, that is all empty products, you guys. Why have I let it get this out of hand? I have no idea. But that is all empty products. All right, so my downstairs area clean cleanser, this is my favorite. I'm very, very sensitive when it comes to that. So I use this. So for body washes, I finished up an Olay strawberry, white strawberry and mint. I use this body wash when I had my third baby girl. So whenever I buy this body wash, it takes me back to the day that she was born. And that shower that you take after you give birth, it's magical. I have two more Dove soaps. I have the shea butter and vanilla, which smells so good. Ooh, that smells amazing. Two Tree Hut body washes. I have the Pumpkin Spice Latte. This one was really nice for fall time. But this one right here, the Cinnamon Dolce. Oh my God, this one is so good. Sugary, cinnamon, super gourmand. Now for shampoos. When I tell you guys that something is a favorite, I'm not playing. I do not take my favorites lightly. Two JVN shampoos. I have another one in the shower and I've probably gone through more of them and forgot to put them in here because this is my all time favorite shampoo. This shampoo doesn't have sulfates, but it leaves my hair so freaking clean and my scalp just clean and not oily or anything like that. So I really like this one. It has been getting harder for me to order this one from Sephora. So I just found one at Sephora the other day when I went and I snatched it up. But when I can't find it for whatever reason, I've also been really loving the L'Oreal Paris Volume Shampoo. I have two empties of this as well. This one's also sulfate free. Of course, my color wows that I always talk about. I actually went through a curly hair one which is really really nice for when i don't have my hair straightened which i rarely wear my hair curly but my daughter does so i really like what this did to her hair it just lets the curl dry really nicely without feeling too crunchy and then the original dream coat is good for like when you're going to flat iron your hair blow dry your hair it just helps with frizz ogx coconut milk conditioner i literally just buy this because of the smell the most like addictive coconut smell ever i've been using this like since i was a teenager since this brand came out and the coconut one just i love it so much tree hut scrubs again when i tell you something is a favorite here's two empties four empties so these are all in different scents this is another favorite conditioner and this is by amika and this is the signature conditioner this smells so good this whole time the mic was facing the other way i have that bad habit so that's probably gonna be not the best audio i'm so sorry and i don't want to film that all over again because i have a lot of products so i will raise the volume up on that or something all right so body butters we have two empty fenty skin uh these are the butter drop vanilla dream whipped oil body cream and then the shimmering whipped oil body cream and i have another one in the bathroom this is one of the best body butters ever it just it's like an oil mixed with a body butter so your skin is just super duper hydrated and dewy amazing so i love that another favorite body butter that i need to get again soon is the keels creme de corpse soy milk and honey whipped body butter this you need in your life especially if you have dry skin and if you like 
gourmand smells kind of like almondy buttery like milky smells you would love this also i went through this one which oh, this one is so expensive but the scent of this this is the laura mercier almond coconut body cream so these two are very similar They're very similar in scent so if you want like a more affordable option you can go i mean this is not super affordable but it's less than this one but they're both super good and they both work amazing on the skin this i did not finish up you guys like i left some in there i'm just not a fan of the smell too much i love what it does for the skin i really do but the smell kind of lingers and it's kind of like a rosy woody scent and it's just not really my favorite so kind of gave up on that one then i used up 54 thrones cloud rapid hydration it's like a body butter this is so good too oh this is so good they came out with a rose scented one and i kind of want to pick it up for the sephora sale just to see how that one smells it's like a pink packaging really really good I went through some Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. These are patches that I put on almost every single morning underneath my eyes. So I did go through this pack and I'm almost done with another pack in my bathroom right now. So now we're going to move on to skincare. My favorite face cleanser. When I tell you something is a favorite, it's a favorite. And you're going to see like multiples of it. So these are three cleansers. Two of them are the the deep cleanse, which is my all-time favorite. And then one is the rice blush, which, which is still amazing. But I just prefer this one. I want to get another one. Right now, I'm using the Kiehl's Calendula, which is amazing too. But I'm missing my Tatcha. It doesn't strip your face or anything like that. And it cleanses your face really nicely. I never shut up about these. I have two first aid beauty facial radiance pads i use these every single time i'm gonna do my makeup these i love they do not dry out my skin they help exfoliate my skin give me like a little glow right before i do my makeup amazing definitely recommend now for la roche pose which this came into my life and i fell in love with their products so the first thing that i have two of is the la roche pose Say this is the thermal spring water spray i just ran out and i'm really missing it because when i get out of the shower i just spray this on my face it's supposed to soothe and protect and it is a natural antioxidant so yeah this is just kind of like what i would put first before i go in with my moisturizers and my serums and stuff and it's not like a must-have but it's just like a really nice extra step multiple of this right here which i just finished hauling in an Ulta haul, I just got a new one. This is the Cicaplast Balm B5. I use this at nighttime. I actually put it on last night because my skin has been kind of breaking out. And I think it's because I kind of strayed away from the little routine that I had trying new things. And I wasn't using this because I had ran out. And this will just like transform my skin. Like I was having a breakout right here, which you can kind of see right here. I always break out on my chin. My face was kind of irritated. I put a layer of this the past two nights and I'm already seeing a big difference. I'm seeing like a glow on my face. I don't know what magic this has. Now, I always kind of tell people to be careful with this because some people break out really bad from it, which is so rare to me because I have sensitive acne prone skin. So I usually break out from things. I did not break out from this one bit. Like this does the opposite. If I have a breakout, it kind of soothes my skin. It The inflammation goes down. It's not as red and angry the next day. Like I cannot be without this. So three of them done and i have another one in my bathroom recommend so so much if it works for you so i would just buy one and try it out if you notice that you start breaking out then it's just not for you but dry sensitive skin i think it should be good for you and then this cleanser which this was competing with my tatcha cleanser this is the hydrating gentle cleanser i went through this entire one and this is another one that i would gladly get again and use it was so good didn't strip my skin and it cleanses really really good now for my good molecules products which i just talked about in my ulta haul as well i went through a niacinamide brightening toner which i just got a backup of this one love what this did to my skin niacinamide is like magic for my skin now i i see what the hype is with that so i also went through a niacinamide serum 
all done. I'm about to finish my second bottle of it, which is the big one. And I already have a backup. And then I also went through a hyaluronic acid serum. So those are all empty. I have some Glow Recipe products because that is another skincare brand that I absolutely love that just never irritates my skin. So I went through this pomegranate peptide firming serum. I'm not sure if this did anything because I feel like I wasn't using it consistently. Like I would just put it on once in a while. And I did like the glow that it would give my skin and my skin would look really nice and dewy and beautiful. I didn't break out from it or anything. But I think I want to repurchase it but use it like more often to see if I notice like a difference from it this i have had countless like i don't even know how many of these i've used but this is the plum plum hyaluronic serum i love this for the morning time to just put on before moisturizer feels super duper good on the skin gives you extra hydration and i also finished a watermelon glow pha and bha pore tight toner very nice and gentle on the skin really good toner as well my favorite spf which i need to get another one because i have some spfs that i need to try first to see if they don't break me out but just the thought of possibly getting a breakout from an spf is kind of scary because those breakouts are so bad for me but this one the super goop every single face never broke me out and this will give you I'm talking about like glass skin to the point where it's almost like too much like I will go to drop off my daughter at school and I will look at myself in the mirror and my face you could see it from outer space that's how much glow this mixed with the niacinamide serum in the morning and the Tatcha water cream that combo right there beautiful glass skin Desi skin products these are so good too I had the mask on overnight moisture mask I went through this. This is so good as well for when I just wanted like an extra layer of hydration during nighttime. And the Claro Que Si Vitamin C Glow Serum. This is the second one that I go through. Really, really good. It didn't break me out either. And it's really nice at brightening the skin. Really good. So her products are so good as well. This matter of fact, Minimalist Hydrating Moisturizer. I finished this all up. And this is such a good moisturizer. I was using this one in the morning time during like fall and winter. And it was the perfect amount of hydration for daytime. So really, really good. I now have the blue one that I need to open up after I finish my Tatcha one to see how that one works for me. But this one, so good. My acne little dots. This is Peace Out Acne. I always talk about these for when you have a really bad like bump this will suck out all the nasties from it and kind of flatten it out so i really love these this serum from dr dennis gross i want this again this is the fill repair serum this is really good it was like very plumping to the skin i feel like the expression lines that i have on my forehead weren't as noticeable so it's expensive though but i would love to get this again and then we have just this mascara is not empty, but I did not enjoy this. Some of you guys told me in the comments that it flaked all over your like under eye area and it totally did the same thing for me. So it's amazing. Like this will get your lashes so long and big and dramatic. But then like halfway through the day, you'll have like little flakes of mascara, which I do not like. So now this one from Give Beauty, this is the Can't Stop Staring Mascara. This is like in my top list of mascaras. The wand is so, so good. I It still has mascara left, but I don't like to keep my mascaras too long because I'm not trying to get an eye infection or something. So this one I definitely had for more than the six months because I got this in Puerto Rico, so I got rid of this. But this is an amazing, amazing mascara. Like if you're just going to wear blush, do your brows and lip gloss and you want to use a nice mascara, this one will get them like dramatic enough to make you look like you have lashes. And then I still have a little bit left of this, but also I've had this for a long time. This is what I was using like for my eye base. This is from One Size. This is the Turn Up the Base Concealer, and now I'm using the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. I've had this for really long, so it was just time to get rid of it. 
All right, so those are all of my empties. I'm going to end the vlog right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I had fun showing you all of the empties because it's really like an all-time favorite type of products um especially when you go through the entire thing and you have multiples of them so let me know if there's any products there that you really love that you use as well and with that said i also did a pasta that i recorded so i think i'm gonna add that in here too so you guys can cook with me it's like a quick cook with me if you like the olive garden chicken and shrimp carbonara I made it and it tasted exactly the same as that pasta. So I will show you guys quickly like what I used, how I did it. And that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you so much for being here. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.